Okay, so Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Anjas Tawtukimida. Uh, today I invite my friend. What's your name? Ali. I'm Kurdish from Turkey uh -huh. and I live in England, specifically London. He invited me today. So yeah, 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 yeah thank yeah. you for inviting me. And actually, I'm also Livart Muslim and yes. I heard that you're also Livart Muslim. Yes. I am curious about your story. I, I think it would be a really interesting story. So, yeah, yeah. how did you get to know Islam at first? Mm. Uh, but for for people that don't know me, my name is Ali Dawa. Mm. You know, like Dawa, Ali Dawa, Dawa, Dawa. Like, like, Ali Dawa. Like, like James Bond, Bond, James Bond. Yeah, <laughs> it makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah. So basically, with me, it's um, I lived the lifestyle of, to me, success was you know stuff, wealth, you know, mm. materialistic things, yes. the cars that you drive. Um, you know the way you look. You know, uh -huh. gym. You're looking strong. It was it was a constant competition. When I go to the gym, I have to look oh, big. You were yeah, a body. Yeah, yeah, I had to. Yeah, I had to yeah, yes, I had to. Yeah, I did a lot of bodybuilding. Always in a constant competition. So even if it's the cars that I drive, mm. I would buy a car. I'd be like, yes, it's a nice car. Then I'll see another car. Ah, I need to get that car. Mm. No matter what I got, mm -hmm. there was always something else I had to get. So it was an endless cycle. It wasn't like, okay, I got this, I'm okay now. No, it has to be something better and something better and something better. So my life revolved around proving myself to other people. You know, I had to tell people, yes, I'm doing this, I'm successful. You know, everybody has this mentality. Uh, when I've come to Islam now, I see different people, you know, um, trying to be something, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, right. But the issue is when you're doing that for other people, you're never going to find happiness. So with me, I would see people that I knew who were rich, had the money, girls, cars, houses, everything. Mm. Depressed, crying, drunk, alcohol oh. addicts, taking drugs. So I said, this doesn't make sense to me because I want to be like him. Yeah. But you are depressed. Not happy. It doesn't make sense. Even if you have everything, but he's not happy. Yeah. So I'm thinking, it doesn't, I was thinking this doesn't make sense because that is supposed to be happiness that has yes. been people have told me my society has told me that i have that's happiness mm. so everything that i'm doing in my life was you know be it from bodybuilding to cars to work to university everything was for other people i had mm. to always show other people i had to show my family that i got into university i'm going to get a degree wow mm. for me no for other people you know mm. um the cars that i drive i had to show off when i'm driving to other people mm. I had to get, you know, sometimes, you know, this special exhaust, it makes a noise, yeah, right. why? So other people, uh -huh. it's always other people. Uh -huh. My car, nice rims, other people. For uh, other people, not always, for me. Not for me. Uh -huh. Clothes that I wear, you know, I had to, obviously, for yourself as well, but it was always for other people. So I thought to myself, am I free? Am I really free? And a lot of people say this, I'm free, I'm, I'm free, I can do whatever I like. Uh -huh. Not really, because you didn't choose, I didn't choose to look like this. Yes. I didn't choose my name. I didn't choose my mum or dad, I didn't choose my siblings, I didn't choose to be born in Turkey and move to UK, I didn't choose these things. So are we really free? Now you might say, okay, we didn't choose those things, but I'm free because I can do whatever I like. Oh, yes. Really? Yes. Let's think about that because I used to go to clubbing, you know, like um, nightclubs, night clubs, huh. yeah? I used to go clubbing a lot, yes. yeah? every weekend, clubbing. Mm -hmm. I never did alcohol, I never did drugs, mm -hmm. but music, music. Was, yes. I used to go clubbing. So I used to have one jumper that I wore, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a very nice jumper mm -hmm. and I looked very nice in it, I looked very good in the jumper, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I looked very handsome, you know, <laughs> so, um, but this jumper, yes. you know this material, it makes you itchy, ah, uh, yeah, right, I hated the jumper, but I wore it because I looked good, uh, but I hated it, you don't like, but for other like people, for your look, exactly, outfit. so think about this, was I free? How can I be free when I am wearing something yeah. that I am not comfortable in, but I'm wearing it so other people say, ah, handsome man. Oh, so this is the same analogy that I give with females when they wear heels yes. and their feet is bleeding. And sometimes I do Uber in London. Uh -huh. Besides Dawa, I do Uber. So I see sometimes, you know, customers, they take girls, they take their shoes off uh -huh. and they carry it because it's too painful ah, to wear. Yes. And their feet, you know here, it's bleeding. Yeah. So I think to myself, why are you wearing something that is hurting you? Yes. Because you look good. Yes. You can't go outside the house with no makeup. Uh -huh. Because why? Society has made you feel ugly. Uh -huh. And you have to have your lips. Why? Because you, the society has made you feel you have to look a certain way yes right so now when i look at these people and when i look at myself yeah i was not free i was a slave uh, 
I was a slave to my society. But these slaves' chains yes. is invisible, you can't see it. You but see. but you're a slave. The social press and social exactly. standards. Exactly, it's, it's slavery. Yes. It's just no chains. Yes. The chains is up here. There is not, not here. yourself. There's exactly. Mm. So what happened is one of my friends, he um, told me about Islam. And he told me to watch some videos of Ahmed Didat, mm -hmm. Zakir Naik. And I always believed in God. Mm. But religion, I said it's man-made. It's control people. Ah, so you believe something, but you... I believe in God, but religion, I said no. And then, you know, one day I was reflecting. I was looking, you know, at my socks. You know these socks? Socks. 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 There you go, I know. <laughs> Muslim socks. And I was thinking, my socks, they have design. Uh, my socks are for my feet, yeah, not for my head. Design. It has a purpose. purpose. The purpose of my socks is to keep my feet warm. Yes, yes, yes. So if it has design, if it has purpose, then it has a designer. Oh, yes, right. right. So I said to myself, my socks, uh -huh. smelly socks, yes. yeah? <laughs> they have a purpose. Yes. They have a design. Yes. They have a designer. Uh -huh. I am a human being. Yeah. I have no purpose. I'm just here like a robot. Wow. I, just, I woke up. Oh, I'm. So that made me think. Hold on yeah, a second. Like food design. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Food design you. Food yes. Food design me. Somebody designed my socks. Me, my yes. eyes, my body, right. the way I'm created. It's very complex. Yeah. If my socks have a designer, I have to have a designer. Yeah. What is the purpose of? Yeah, what's my purpose? I'm yes. here just to eat, drink like a cow, <laughs> and sleep. So, oh. so from there onwards, I start researching Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, a little bit of Sikhism, and I used to read the Bible. Mm. And one thing that, to me, one thing that I would not accept is that I realized to myself there has to be a book from God. But which one is it? I had one condition. Oh. Any book that says it's from God should have no mistakes, oh. no contradictions, no errors. Yes. Because if it is from God, how could it have mistakes? Yeah. Perfect. So, it should be perfect. Yeah. So the only book that I found out by researching is the Quran. Quran. It's the only book that is not changed, has not been altered. It was a Quran. Yeah, it's original. Yeah. It and change. one thing that I really like, one verse in the Quran, it says, if you think this is not from your Lord, bring a chapter like it. Make something similar. Mm -hmm. So now this was a very bold statement. Because if I can find a mistake, that means, that means the Quran is not from God. So I was looking, I was looking, I was looking, nothing. I was looking and that made it very strong for me, the case. So from there, in 2012, 23rd of December, I decided to accept Islam. After oh, looking, sure. because I had people, I knew Islam was the truth, yes. but I had, you know, my like, desires, I still wanted to go out and, you know, but I had people die. I had my cousin commit suicide. Oh, really? Yeah, my neighbor committed suicide, my oh. cousin's friend committed suicide, and this was because of her haram relationships. Mm. Girlfriend, boyfriend, oh, his yeah, girlfriend yeah. left him. So that's why I'm doing a marriage documentary, uh, <laughs> which is about my search for marriage. marriage. Documentary? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's for young single Muslims, uh, how to find the person oh, in the halal way. Curious, yes. yes, yes, yes. And it's been four years late, but it's coming out soon. Don't really? worry. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, I should watch it. How to <laughs> yeah. find halal relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been working on that. And what I do now is, you know, I accepted Islam. Mm -hmm. It was hard. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, my dad didn't like it. Mm -hmm. My family didn't like it. Uh, my dad kicked me out of my house oh, for one really? month, yeah. But my mom supported me. Uh, now my dad is better. Oh. He's much better than before. And yeah, that's that's my story in a nutshell. And now I'm involved in Dawah. So I give, you know, I speak to people about Islam, mm. the true message of Islam, you know, how we should be good Muslims, conduct ourselves. Yeah. Because one of the reasons you came to Islam is because in Indonesia you saw good Muslims. Just right. And you was watching media talking about bad Muslims. Yeah. But when you saw people, real Muslims, mm -hmm. then your your mind changed. And do you know how Islam came to Indonesia? Yeah. It came through Yemeni traders. Oh really? And you know how they accepted it? Oh. Because the Indonesian people, they looked at their behavior in oh. business. They were honest people, truthful people, good manners. Oh. And that's how I came to Islam. Oh really? I didn't yes. Know that. And now you came to Islam in Indonesia because you looked at their character yes, right. and behavior. Their Same thing. That's how entire Indonesia, if I'm not mistaken came to Islam because wow. of Muslim Yemeni traders who had good honesty wow. and that's, so similar. that's how Islam spread the world yes. wow very interesting you came same thing and, and I'm in Korea so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. 
So yeah. that's why I believe mm. people like you and me, inshallah, are chosen by Allah. Yes. We ask Allah to make our intentions correct. Uh, you're so lucky. Yeah. You're chosen by Allah. So, so that we spread this message to our families. Mm. You know, and every revert person that's watching this or who wants to come to Islam, you, Allah is teaching, taking you as ambassador. Ambassador. Oh, to yeah. give it to Islam. Why? Why? You know. So yeah, that's my story mm. in a nutshell. Very interesting. Yeah. I love to hear your story. Yeah. So but now you know who designed you and yes. what's your purpose yes. of your. And this is very important because we say to a lot of people, if you woke up one day mm. on a plane, and on the plane you have everything you want. Mm. But the question you will ask yourself, why am I on this plane? Mm -hmm. Where is this plane going? Uh, you yeah, that's very important. You want to know? fundamental question. Exactly. Where, where, am, I, where am I going? Who yeah, put me here? Yeah. It doesn't matter if you have everything. You have to ask, where, why am I here? So I know now why am I here? Mm -hmm. Where am I going? Yeah. That's very important. Yes. So now I'm not a slave to people. Yeah. Slave I'm a, to society. I'm a slave no to the one who created me. Yeah. And that is true freedom. Because now I do things for his sake, oh. not for people, yes. you know, he's, he, I don't care. Yeah. Even as a Muslim, when you're going to the gym, you can get rewarded by Allah. If oh. you're going to be a strong Muslim, yes. to pray, that's rewardable. Instead of doing it for people, they don't care about you. Oh. They don't care how big your muscles are, they don't care. Right. But if you're doing it for the right reasons, it's for Allah. When you're wearing nice clothes, yes. yeah, like you, you know, me, yeah. Uh, it's, it's nice yeah. <laughs> when you're wearing nice clothing, yeah. it's for the sake of Allah, you get rewarded. Oh. You're intentional. If you say, Oh Allah, I'm wearing these clothes to look clean Muslim, yes. Allah rewards you. To be more oh Allah, Muslim. I'm going to the gym for your sake, you get rewarded. Be strong Muslim. Yeah, you're driving a car for Allah's sake, going to the masjid, oh. every second you get rewarded. Oh. So now, every purpose is worship Allah, serve Allah. Exactly. Yeah. Not human beings anymore, uh, because human beings are never going to uh, be happy with you. That's the freedom. Yes, that's the true freedom. Uh, yes, and nobody, so nobody's, no human being is going to be happy with you. Yes. If you fix your affair with Allah, Allah will fix your affairs with the people. Mm. If you put people before Allah, mm -hmm. the people will leave you, and Allah will leave you. Mm. But if you put Allah first, Allah will be with you and the people. If they are, they don't care. No problem. Yeah. Your main priority is Allah. So. Okay. Yeah, that's what I would say really. Ah, it was really interesting. I learned many things from you today. I learned many things from <laughs> you as well. <laughs> it was a really interesting story, so I okay. hope you have a wonderful journey with Islam and make much. a lot of dawah. Yes, definitely. And we are waiting <laughs> for you in the UK, but not now. <laughs> We've got a corona problem. Oh, after that. After that's finished, <laughs> then you can come okay. and we can do some social experiments. Sure, I, 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 will, I hope to. It'll be a pleasure. I love to. Thank you for watching my video. Take care and be safe. Alhamdulillah. Ma'asalama. Bye bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>